Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do your weekly energy reading for the sign of Gemini. So, okay, let's we're just gonna go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I usually do this part off camera for time's sake. needs to keep an open mind about a situation possibly something dealing with uh, a soulmate i feel like someone is looking too much into like i'm not gonna say the red flags but i feel like someone is just being too cautious when it comes to someone who's possibly a soulmate or you feel like is a soulmate <clears throat> and i kind of feel like you're needing to keep an open mind about this person. The situation could also involve um, marriage. I want to go into this more. Someone could also be having problems in, with finance. Their finances as well may not be so great right now. Or someone could have possibly have recently lost a job. I feel like someone is coming out of um, feeling betrayed. Something dealing with a union. Someone, something dealing with maybe a marriage or a union. Someone um, possibly betrayed, betrayed you in the past. And you, it doesn't have to be like an actual wedding like you guys didn't have to be legally married but i really do feel like this was definitely some type of situation ship possibly someone is, is i feel like someone is needing to be the fool in the situation and just keep an open mind about um about this person though i do feel like there was definitely some type of deception that went on um in the past Somebody's coming out of feeling um, anxiety. Yeah, somebody, and I do feel like this is something dealing with, uh, somebody could have possibly called off an engagement as well, but somebody was feeling backstabbed by someone. And I feel like you're coming out of that energy. Like, it's like you're no longer staying up at night. You're no longer losing sleep over something that you can't change. Possibly something dealing with the work situation as well. Gossip in the workplace. Somebody is wanting stability. Most importantly, someone is looking for stability. Somebody feels like they put in a lot of time and effort into the situation. And it's really hurting them to let this person go. Because they've dedicated a lot of time into this person. And I feel like... With, Whatever this betrayal was that happened in the past left you feeling backstabbed. But it's like you're coming out of that energy. You no longer want to be in that energy anymore. Someone here, though, is in love. Someone definitely has a lot of love for someone. And maybe I don't think they're just speaking it. Someone sees victory in someone. 
And I feel like somebody's about to communicate this to you. I feel like you should be receiving some answer, some communication coming in from someone who um, has a lot of love for you. And I feel like you had a lot, of, you have a lot of love for them. And I do feel like that there was definitely some type of betrayal that happened in the past. But I, there's love here. I definitely feel like there's love here. Maybe in the past there was like a lack of communication. I feel like you have dedicated a lot of time into this person. Could be some type of religious factors. The reason why you guys couldn't be together. Maybe you guys couldn't see eye to eye on that level. Maybe you guys were from different backgrounds, different races. I, I'm seeing like a job loss. Someone um, has possibly just lost their job or probably is in a finna lose their job. I just want to give whoever that message is for you. You're gonna know. You're gonna know it's for you. Yeah, someone is definitely looking for something more grounded, more stable. Somebody's coming out of being stuck in their head about a situation as well. Yeah, somebody definitely... <clears throat> okay, I'm kind of viewing this as... Someone is trying to keep an open mind about someone, though there probably has been a lot of red flags in this situation. You're trying to keep an open mind ab about this person. You're possibly engaged to this person or there has been some type of commitment with this person. Yes, there was some type of betrayal that happened in the past, which left you feeling backstabbed. You may be receiving some type of communication coming in about this, um, about this betrayal. Maybe you don't even know about the betrayal yet. But there was definitely some type of um, deceit that happened. Though somebody still wants to take a leap of faith because they're in love. They're in love with this person. Though it is, it's clearly unstable. Like there's lack of stability in the situation and the shit kept you up at night. You still want victory with this person. You still want victory with this person. Whoever this person is, I don't think they're that stable financially either. Because I got the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. I'm feeling like you're more stable than this person. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're having financial problems. Or they could have possibly just lost a job as well. But somebody is about to receive some type of spiritual download. And I'm really feeling like... It's like right now... You're... <clears throat> It's like you're not really sure. Somebody is definitely unsure and they're trying to keep an open mind about this situation. But I feel like it's red flags everywhere. And I feel like this is a union that went bad. You still want to offer love to this person or this person still wants to offer love to you. But I mean, it's just unstable, whether it's finances or just emotionally. Somebody is very unstable. And you know what? And that's going to cause you to, if you're going to continue to extend your energy out to this person and, and they're not giving it back to you, it's going to cause you to pour your emotions out as well. Like you're not going to want to offer this person anything else. If there's someone else involved, this could be possible, but they're not communicating with you. It could possibly be someone involved, um, someone that could possibly have a child with as well. That's, I feel like that's, that could possibly be, possibly be what's not being um, communicated with you. Whoever this person that you're, is you're dealing with, they're having some financial issues for sure. And it could be another barrier that's keeping you guys, um, keeping you guys apart. Mm -hmm. 
It's say open your heart to joy. And and I and I have this here with keeping open mind. So somebody's definitely trying to keep an open mind about whether or not they should continue to give their love to someone. Shout out to the heavens with happiness. And I feel like this person brings you joy. And I feel like you definitely want a new beginning with this person. Opening up to your spiritual source. But somebody definitely needs to listen to their intuition about this situation before you just take a leap of faith with this person. I really feel like there was definitely some type of deception or, or deceit that, um, that happened in the past, which left you or this person feeling backstabbed. And I feel like if, if you haven't heard about this yet, you're definitely going to be receiving some type of information, communication coming in that's going to leave you feeling backstabbed, okay? All right, I love you guys. You guys are, are awesome. And also, um, it's, it's, it's over 3,000 subscribers now. It's almost 4,000, but um, I'm doing a three reading giveaway. And for sure, I'm just showing my appreciation to my subscribers in celebration of me reaching over 3,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away three free personal readings. All you have to do is go over to my Facebook page, Mystic Beauty, like my page, follow me. On that page, um, leave me a shout out and um, come back to this video and put done. Or um, you could leave me a black heart and let me know, and let me know that you followed the instructions. And um, good luck to everybody with that. And I love you guys and peace.